Okay, we're going to review some mathematical properties. Most you should have heard of before. Um, so we'll go through our review pretty quickly. The first property we're going to take a look at is the associative property of addition. So everything we look at with, that follows this property, the first thing to check is, is it addition? Okay. The next thing we can look at is the property name associative. Part of this word is associate. And if you associate with somebody as a friend, that is a per that person is in the group of friends that you have. Um, the people you associate with are your friends. In a job, the people you work with may be called your associates. So associating with other people is grouping yourself together with those people. So when we look at the property, the associative property, we're looking at numbers getting grouped together. Okay. So with the associative property, we are regrouping numbers that are being added by moving the parentheses. So we're regrouping numbers that are being added by moving the parentheses. So for each of these, we'll look at a numerical example and an example using algebra. So our numerical example would be, if I had two plus three in parentheses, plus five. And what we would do is in, on the left side, the two and the three are grouped together. The two and the three are associating with each other. I'm going to regroup the parentheses, or excuse me, move the parentheses. So now the three and the five are being grouped together. So if you notice the order of the numbers do not change, it still goes two, three, five. What's changing are the numbers that are being grouped together. So the grouping is changing. Now what you'll also see is that the value does not change. Okay, two plus three is five, five plus five is 10. If I look on the right side, three plus five is eight, eight plus two is 10. So following the order of operations, my left side will still equal my right side, even though the parentheses changed positions. Now, if we look at the algebra example, two plus a plus four would equal two plus a plus four. So again, all of my numbers stay in the same order, but the placement of the parentheses change. The grouping of the numbers are changed by the parentheses. This also holds true for multiplication. So with the associative property of multiplication, same rules, but we multiply instead of add. Regroup numbers being multiplied by moving parentheses. All right, so for our examples, 
or numerical example. Remember, we've got to have all multiplication. So if I have 4 times 7 times 2, remember if I have a number next to parentheses with no operation showing, it's actually multiplication. So if I were to re, uh, move the parentheses, the order of my numbers stayed the same. But instead of grouping my 7 times 2, like on the left, I'm grouping 4 times 7 on the right. So again, order did not change. Which numbers are grouped is what changed. And if I follow the order of operations, on the left, I end up with 4 times 12 excuse me, 4 times 14, which equals 56. And on the right, if I follow the order of operations, I get 28 times 2, which equals 56. So regrouping the numbers together or changing the grouping does not change the answer. Now for the algebra example, if I had 9 times 3a, this is 9 times 3 times a. If I wanted to regroup, I could make it 9 times 3 times a. And again, when we're regrouping things, we're not moving any numbers around. You are literally moving which the are you moving the parentheses you're changing which numbers are grouped together commutative property of addition so again we've got some addition happening when you commute you move commuting is is going from one place to another i start out at home when i commute to work i start out at home and i end up at work I've changed my position. That's what commuting is in math. So numbers in an addition problem or expression so numbers in an addition expression can be rearranged to get the same result. So this is where num the numbers actually move. But remember, we've got to have all addition for the commutative property to work. So here's an example. 2 plus 3 plus 4. So again, 2 plus 3 plus 4. Now we have all addition. That's the first goal. The minute you have a mixture of anything else, it's done. You have to have all addition. What this is telling me is 2 plus 3 plus 4 would be the same thing as 3 plus 4 plus 2. I have all the same numbers. They're just in a different order. So if I followed the order of operations and worked left to right, I would get 5 plus 4, which equals 9. On the right-hand side, if I worked left to right following the order of operations, I would get 7 plus 2, which is 9. Those are equal. Commutative property. The numbers move. For an algebra example, 6 plus a plus 1 would equal 1 plus a plus 6. And we'll talk soon about actually combining those. But for now, as long as you have all addition, you can move everything around. So now we were looking at the commutative property, but with multiplication. So this only holds true if you have 
all multiplication. So numbers in a multiplication expression can be rearranged to get the same result. So again, we have to have all multiplication. The minute that there's another operation involved, it's done. You can't even have multiplication and addition together. It's all or nothing. So here's an example. One times three times five would equal three times five times one. And if we actually multiply this out left to right, I get three times five, which is 15. If I look on the right hand side, I get 15 times one, which also equals 15. So we know this works. For an algebra example, two times seven times X would be equal to X times seven times two. Order doesn't matter if we have everything in multiplication. And again, we'll work out the algebra side another time. Now the distributive property, we're going to skip for now. We'll come back to that later. Identity property of addition. You may also hear this called additive identity. Okay, so that may be something you've heard of. What the identity property of addition says is that any number plus zero equals that number. So any number plus zero equals that number. For example, three plus zero equals three. An algebra example would be a plus zero equals A. The identity property of multiplication. Another version of the same thing would be multiplicative identity. And the multiplicative identity explained is a number times one equals that number. So a number times one equals that number. So seven times one equals seven. The algebra version would be seven times, excuse me, not seven. X times one equals X. 